We're at New Fira Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the thrills. Ah, it sure does get cold here in Snuffalo. Did you know that when the NFL first started, its very first season, a Snuffalo player suffered a high quarters ass capitation? Yeah, it was it was seven when he was tackled and, and a throw before he hit the ground. And thus the saying was born to freeze one own pass up. Let's play some football. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this NFL matchup. The Nashville Lycans take on the Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They can get free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and long. And he breaks away. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Third down and six. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. Third down and, well, good luck. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. 
Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and three. And he'll throw that one out of bounds. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Second down and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, good work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. First and eight to go. Perfect pass and a score! Since when is that a penalty? Well, since now, I guess, Ben. First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Just burn the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just gotta. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to play some bat.
Second down in a very lot. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and the punter is warming up. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Wow, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. on that run. Second down and seven. Third down and, well, good luck. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He picks up a two. Third down and nine. First and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. Chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Now they're 
are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll never... Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up, and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. Second down and two. Two minutes left in the half. Second down and two. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. One yard is better than nothing, but not by much. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down and nine. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease. It's a four yard game. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. That pass play was good for three yards. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. Oh, and he misses the kick. Man, his teammates are going to flog him when he gets back to the sideline. And it's first and ten. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. And that'll be their final timeout. Third down and six. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, it's a punishing hit. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. And 
and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten well it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it you gotta keep your eye on the ball come on you dirtbag you gotta make that catch second down and ten Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down and seven. to go and he picks up four on that pass and catch and that'll be second down and four he had it for a second there And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Look, guys, that's supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. to the air and came up big. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And he punched his way out of that tackle. 
And it's first and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And the defender just got cut in half. Second down and a lot. Great play by the defense for Zell. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket and creates a sonic blast across. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. <laughs> let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. Feed by Fofa. It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. I gotta, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And it's first and ten. Hmm. 
Second down and more than the QB would like. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third down and six. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawning. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, what a brutal hit! Third and two. First and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and six. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and two. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And that'll be second down and four. got crushed and it's first and ten and 
and that pass is good for about five yards. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. That's a passing catch for a new game. But how is it a pass? Third down and six. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grin. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit shit. I... And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid right now monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolves. <laughs> Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Come on, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, man, he really wants it! If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga. No more timeouts for the defense. Or the offense, Bricks. That's, that's the important part. And that'll be second and eight to go. Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. This guy's a brick shit house. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Snuffle Thrills lose at their home stadium. And I'll tell you, the fans are not happy. You think if I sang a little song, I might cheer them up? Uh, nobody thinks that. Nobody. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got and all they're ever gonna have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right.